Pam Whitfield. That one mayor made a run for the gate. Did you see that? Finished her riding instructions just in time Tuesday night. The owner said, why don't you just stop early and lock everything down? I've looked at the radar. There's going to be hell. Metal scraps flew into the trees. Wood came crashing down and the barn. The indoor arena was two thirds gone. It was like the hand of God had just picked up the indoor arena and dashed it two fields over. It's a total loss. They're done and they're going to have to be raised to the ground and they're going to have to start all over as a family. That's the Long family of long awaited acres, which has taught girls from southeastern Minnesota how to ride horses for years. We worked with so many great people. Daughters like Madison and Michaela Long were away at college when the storm hit. You never think it's going to happen to you until it does. Now they're visiting for the weekend, seeing the damage for the first time. I never would have imagined that it would like tear this much off the barn mm -hmm. right here broke it and then it, it wedged two by four but the family vows to rebuild we're just gonna look at where it's lying instead of trying well, to pile it up well yeah if it's in the way maybe stack it with help from friends like brad norman pam whitfield and even total strangers the generosity of southeastern minnesota horse people has been amazing people have called and offered pastures and paddocks and stalls more volunteers are expected all weekend we have the community backing us we'll get through it All 15 horses did survive the storm without any injuries. There's a GoFundMe to help the Long family that's linked on our website.